like I was right at the beginning and I hate um like it's an app that's made for only people on the right. Yeah. But by doing that, there's something weird about only talking to people that only think exactly like you do. That, that's like what Twitter, I posted. I posted Twitter that yesterday on Twitter is way too aggressive right now. Yeah. So if if you're if people are either fucking uh, communists or Nazis, there's nothing you know. Th- there's nothing in between. But that's almost healthier than just people that are. I'll always agree on everything. Yeah, the, I posted that on Parlor yesterday. I said, like, kind of, mm. what's the point here if it's just one side? Like, don't you guys want yeah. discussion? And then someone said, well, it's going to take time because it's going to, if it gets big enough, it's going to be unavoidable. Everybody's going to be on it. Mm. But right now, it's the early adopters. And then, since they were saying there's a lot of controversial, crazy shit, Milo Yiannopoulos or whatever is saying crazy stuff, I went and I took a screenshot of Milo Yiannopoulos because I want to see the controversial stuff he was writing. And this is what I saw. Milo wrote, people who knowingly choose stick deodorant over roll-on go to hell. Very controversial, <laughs> fucking hateful, Nazi racist piece, Nazi of garbage. piece of garbage stuff that's being done over there. So I was like, what the fuck is happening? Like, you're being told it's fucking Nazis and extremists and that. And then I go and it's about fucking deodorant and stuff. I'm like, what's wrong with people? What's wrong with this spaz culture? Yeah, we've turned into a spaz culture. Yeah, bro, everybody just wants to spaz. <laughs> I like that you just repeated exactly. <laughs> what that was. We've turned into a spaz culture. It's definitely a spaz culture. He, he just retweeted <laughs> me in real life. Yeah. <laughs>